Hey, what's going on guys? Z here. In this video, I'd like to introduce a new variant I've added to my bare minimum chess uh, program variants website. And today we have Thai chess Macrook. Uh, so it's it's a derivative from uh, oh my god, I forgot how they call it. Uh, Chaturanga or Chaturanga? Oh, Chaturanga. I'm not not sure. That that initial variant of Indian chess where everything has come from basically so although it was quite pretty trivial probably the most uh, the, the easiest variant to, em to implement so far uh, I mean uh, derived from the standard chess because uh, Korean chess uh, and the Chinese chess had uh, really needed kind of lots of work in order to make them work properly as expected but for Thai chess it ju was just a matter of limiting uh, the bishops from going diagonally until the board edge you know, and just adding this extra square that when the bishop can go up. Knights are absolutely the same, rooks are the same as in interna international western chess, king is the same and the queen can only go like uh, one square diagonally uh, within all, all of the board. And regarding the promotion, uh, pawn is getting promoted when it reached the sixth rank here or the third rank here so it's also was quite pretty trivial to implement <laughs> but with this slight modifications you know like the game really becomes uh absolutely different and i didn't when i just started implementing this uh, uh, uh i considered this just just because it's easy to do and i can quickly come up with a new variant uh in my collection but you know, like uh, when I started playing uh, in this this game, uh, I didn't play with human people, uh, with with, hum uh, with with human beings, with with, with other people, uh, only with uh, this minimalist engine. But this was really fun. I get checkmated a couple. Of, I get checkmated a couple of times, and I realized that this game is not really that simple as it might seem. So, well, uh, actually. There is nothing really to have a look at in the source code because again like just as i've been mentioning it's really really looks like the standard standard variant and i've been covering that really numerous number of times so we better go for testing directly and i'll try to play a game so i didn't yet manage to check me the opponent's skin believe it or not and may maybe this time uh i would have been lucky so without further ado let's actually start so again, yeah, bearing in mind the fact that I have no idea how to play this game, uh, I would try to follow the principles from international Western chess, just trying to develop the pieces. Uh, just freeing some scope for the rooks. So where the knight goes? Knight goes here. Okay, it's not a big deal yet. So I don't know. Potentially, I could have want to reroute my knight somewhere well by the way in this game yeah we can go with the king closer to the center because i think this this might be just fine uh i don't know let's just go for some centralizing moves okay try not to blunder pieces as always and hold on a sec can i no i can uh, i i just i just thought i can't uh, grab this pawn but actually I can't do it because I would get recaptured by the bishop so bishop goes one square forward as well so yeah I've blundered <laughs> I've been blundering rooks a couple of times uh, this sort of way so unfortunately this this move this take is not on the card so yeah let's uh, create this beautiful knight out post instead okay so this is check and yeah my knight my beautiful knight, knight out post is already getting crushed okay doubling pawns so what should i consider should i take with yeah probably let's take with this one and let's take like this and let's block nope yes let's block okay so Mm, now I want to block. Well, just 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 really hope not to get mated soon. Yeah, but this this is really possible. 
Sango here takes takes yes yeah, a little bit starts getting a little bit dangerous. So I, I should have played uh on the right side of the board I believe. Mm. Yeah, by the way, the initial location of kings uh, is different compared to Western chesses. So the queen is always on the right side from the king, and uh, I might be horribly wrong regarding the piece names. I'm sorry for that. But anyway, so. Hold on a sec. Okay, I, I thought I belonged to the rook. No, I still have my rook here. Okay. So, well, trying to build some sort of a blockade. And maybe... No, uh, I really want to go for an attack here. So, let's say even if it takes, it would be even better, right? So, I just really want to go... Okay, brilliant. Just awesome. Just awesome. So, I have a nice pawn center here. And trying to crash through with the pawn. So the next move would be promoting the pawn to uh, just not to some piece, just in macro code. They say like they just swap the sides of the pawn. So, but it would be able to, it would be capable to move like a queen. So one step diagonally. Okay, so now my bishop is threatened by the rook. So, how should I deal with that? Uh, I can protect it. Okay, perfect. Okay, I, I, I really start liking my position at this point. So say at least. Yeah, this is really getting interesting. So let's say you go pawn here, here. And here the rook goes. Yeah, this might be on the cards. Seems like a reasonable plan. Okay. Can I give a check? So yeah, it's protecting the square from the rook, infiltrating inside. This, this is good, generally. Okay, uh, I want to give a check. And yeah, you see like now my pawn has been, has been promoted. <coughs> so thanks to pychessvariant.org website, that's exactly where I've grabbed the, the images for pieces, not only for my crook, but for all the other variants. I, I, I can show you them when I play the game, because the game would get resetted, because this is the iframe, literally. And it gets reloaded every time it's changed. But, yeah, so... This is getting interesting, really. So I'm just trying to bring my bishop in at some point. Can I, or maybe Rugo here takes, takes, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but for some reason I really started liking this game. Hold on a sec, doesn't mean that at the moment I can win, win a Rook. Okay, perfect, I just won a Rook, and now I can win a Bishop. Absolutely amazing, yeah. Uh, the fun fact, guys, that the engine strength is absolutely the same for all the variants but because of the variants are so different <laughs> it feels like uh, the plane strength of the engine is also different well maybe probably I don't know maybe just because I have much more experience in international Western chess that might be the case might be the reason so I don't even know uh, okay so the can is to take the rook so try not to blunder it for now uh okay let's take this one for a while i'm gonna take this one it's not it's not dangerous really okay i want to go for a checkmate one day how can i do that i can take this guy mm. yeah okay Ah, uh, what a smart king! He's trying to, yeah, not not lowering my rook, doing anything. Okay, so this seems like a resignation from the engine. So he he drops the rook here. So is there some sort of a maiden sequence? I don't even know. So probably, the position is so horrible. Well, I, I can't go here because it just takes right. So oh, it doesn't. Doesn't move uh, further anymore. Yeah. By the way, this is this is an interesting thing, guys. Uh, 
I need to check that in PyChess variant. So whether the promoted pawn can move only diagonally or it also can go forwards as well. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, just let me quickly check that out because uh, no, I can't do it quickly. I can or maybe I can do it quickly. Okay, if I play the random, if I play the random bot, then that might be the case. So where is the muck rook? Here it is. So, just trying to, yeah, it doesn't seem to, yeah, it only goes diagonally, yeah, thank god, I thought that that's something wrong, yeah, because it wasn't really that clear of the rules, okay, so, if I just go in here, yeah, probably, here, here, is, here it is, and this is gonna be a checkmate, is it? Yeah, this is the checkmate. What an interesting game, guys. You know, like, yeah, I'm really excited with this game, to say at least. Well, obviously, engine is in incredibly weak here, but again, like, if you want a strong engine, just play versus very stockfish. And my goal is not to make the strong engine, my goal is to make a very minimalist and didactic proof of concept implementation. So, if you have a look at the service code, you'll realize that it's very, very tiny. And by the way, yeah, we have the embedded graphics. So it allows us to have a single HTML file to actually run this. So this can be downloaded absolutely for free. And you can run this locally in your browser. It also works perfectly well on a smartphone. So yeah, have fun with Thai Chess Macro, guys. And I guess this is it from my side. So thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time, and take care.